to see something cool? Below 300 volts, life is pretty simple. Switches make sense, and electricity is something the average person with an extra brain cell or two can wrap their head around. Touch two conductors together, and current flows from A to B. No worries. This is because at under 300 volts at normal atmosphere, electricity can't just get stupid and jump out of the wire. Above 300 volts, and you have to start worrying about weird things like spacing, thickness, creepage, tracking, and all manner of dangerous beasties, it starts out as obvious and delve into witchcraft. And above 40 kilovolts, just take that shit outside. Because at indoor scales, it's a monumental pain in the ass. Everything is oil baths and tanks of gas, and the spicy air wants to set your face on fire. That brings us to... THIS FUCKING THING! This is a switch that only works for high voltage, where the rules get... Fucky. I don't know its ratings, but it might be custom made because it doesn't have a maker plate or anything like that on it. Let's see what we can learn with a quick look though. We might get lucky and someone in the comments happens to be the dude that built it originally. This is a triggered spark gap. You put your high voltage way out here on one side and you see how it's got more curves than the Detroit pissed offs? That's your first clue. High voltage likes to stick to curves and jump off of sharp edges. That's why lightning rods are pointy. The curves calm the field and keep things copacetic. The output side is a mirror image. Curves in all the right places. The whole thing is a non-conductive container where we can control the atmosphere. This could be filled with nitrogen, argon, or sulfur hexafluoride if we want to get the voltages really high. We could even use the gas pressure to switch this by venting it when we want it to go off. But this middle piece? That's where the real magic happens. This is a trigger electrode, and see how the inside of this ring is the one sharp edge in this whole cantankerous current carrying contraption? By dropping a little bit of low current, high voltage here, we can initiate a spark that causes the big energy out here to jump the gap. Like a relay, we use a little energy to control a big energy, but here it's actually in direct contact, and that's way more dangerous. Trigger gaps are used in everything from crowbar safety systems to radar and lasers with thousands of different applications. This is just foreplay for the long form fund in the future. We're going to learn a lot about trigger gaps here and do some really kick-ass science and projects with them in the new workshop. This is going to be really cool.